Hi, it's Sally, and in this video I'm going to show you two different ways to insert a signature line in Word 2016. So keep in mind this is um, like for people to actually print out and sign signature line, not, um, not like you would have in your email that has your contact information. So uh, the first option is to click up here on insert and, and also I want to point something out in, in Office 2016 they've got this section here this tell me what you want to do so this is another option if you're not positive where to look for what you want to do just start typing it here and it will take you where you want to go so again I've clicked on the insert tab here and I want to go over to text and this top right icon here is the add a signature line so I can click there and so you just uh, first add the suggested signer so we'll just put John Doe as the example shows uh, and then their title if you want uh, their email if you want any instructions uh, if you want to allow them to add comments in the sign dialog and to include the date because I think it's always important to include the date when you're signing something so everything looks good here so I'm just gonna click OK and there it is so I have this video also recorded for Word 2010 and one of the, the commenters James Paul commented that yeah this is cool and all but uh, that's a big ugly X and uh, is there a way around that so what I'd like to show you is another option that I prefer so I'm going to uh, stay on this insert tab here and I'm going to insert a table so I want it uh, a 2 by 2 table so first I'm going to hit enter a couple times I'm going to add my underline here and there's other ways to do this this is just the way that I prefer to do it so again enter enter so this will be where they they would sign uh, this is if if you have two people signing which was typically the case with me so um, then we'll have name one of the first person to sign and then title and what I typically like to do is bold their name and then here we'll have name two and title again we'll bold that so that looks pretty good I'm gonna double click on this see I just hovered over I mean I did that really fast sorry about that so you see this uh, this icon up here you want to click on that to select your whole table and then double click it and this opens up the design tab here so what I'm going to do now is click on uh, borders this drop down arrow and I'm going to choose no border so then you have two nice uh, signature lines there uh, they they match so there's a nice uh, cohesiveness to your document and I, I think personally this does look a bit more attractive than having this big old X here just X is the you know universal you know sign here symbol so I hope this was helpful to you don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel leave any comments because your comments help me make better videos uh, just like yours James Paul thank you very much and have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.